And I, all I can throw up is this right now. Lights out. Uh-huh. I hit him get That's with him. His lights man. out. You it's said you. Of, you said what? I done you beat his brakes off. off. God damn. Lights out. Nah. Check. Was up at the college, you holding it down. I see the loudest, you don't make a sound. I stay with the soldiers and they all right now. You stay with the clowns and they just around. Life of a war, your habits are formed, you the core. When that revealed, the man that you are, stand on Shamar. Understand this life from the battlefield. So I just get focused, it won't stop. Coming up, I'm trying to stay up. Shoot for the goal like a jump shot. I got no time for the layup. Figure that I should just do what I love. I'm working for crackers and they want to play you. Shut in the job and I'm on the move. I know that the devil when I say it daily. Talk about white folks with the red skins against black lives, and that's obvious because they ominous. Still a whole world. And said that they hit with George Washington But five out of ten of these niggas They never open the book, nor have tried to You look like history book, like being lied to You should do it how I do An intelligent thug that apply to Was once in the hood with them packs in the pockets Hey listen, we got, we got something important that we gotta bring out here in Richmond, man We gotta let our, we gotta let our people know that Keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments That the Christian church told us was done away with that's the only wisdom that we have in this earth, man. Right, right. That's the only thing that's going to bring salvation for blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we're going to get that in the scriptures. Am I good? Let's get Deuteronomy 4, chapter 5. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Let me show Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. The Most High is saying, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. He's talking to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right. The Most High and gave us laws and statutes that we got to live by. A moral compass that we should be living by in this earth, man. Our leaders, the so-called uh, so leaders, these Christian pastors and these uh, politicians, they told us that we ain't got to serve the Lord no more, man. They said that we can do whatever we want to do. All we got to do is believe in Jesus, right? And because of that, this is why we're dying in the streets, man. Let's get some more in the scripture. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Most High, it's like even as the Lord my God commanded me. Listen, the Most High has taught us laws, statutes, and commandments. This right. is our moral compass, man. Like the fact that we out here and we don't know who we are is a sign of like the fact that we don't have wisdom in these in this earth, man. Right, right. And we trying to we trying to build and be one with everybody. That's not what the Lord wants from us, man. Right. right. The Lord called us a royal priesthood. That means that every black, Hispanic, and Native American, though they call us Negroes and sticks and wetbacks, guess what? We are we are royal to the Most High, man. And we gotta understand that. But the only thing that's gonna give us that understanding is coming back to keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. If I could drop that, uh, no, keep on, keep on. That ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Listen, these laws, statutes, and commandments, we gotta follow them in any, no matter where we're at. You understand? It don't matter that we're in our captivity. We still can't eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You understand? Right. right. Though we in, the, though we are in our captivity, every black, Latino, and Native American man, woman, and child, we are not allowed to be homosexuals, man. That's right. We are meant to be royal, a royal priesthood, priesthood unto the Lord. That's right. Like this is the wisdom that these scriptures are going to give to us, man. Right. Let's get some more. Keep going. Verse six. Keep them four and do them. For this is your wisdom. It's a keep therefore and do them. Let's, let's keep these commandments, man. You know why? This is our wisdom. Right. Though they say voting, they say you gotta vote or die, right? We gotta keep these laws, statutes, and commandments or we die, man. Right. That's what's happening in the streets, you understand? Like this is our wisdom right here. Right. Like the fact, like if you look at the Native Americans, we trusted in our oppressor. Our Native American brothers trusted in the oppressor the same way that uh, the same way we trust in our press of the day and guess what we die We die in these streets man like right now. We're walking on the we walking on the, the bones of the North American Indians man That's right. Like that's what's happening in this nation. You know why? Because we did not understand that we should be keeping these laws statutes and commandments The Lord called, the, called our oppressor the so-called white man the devil of the Bible man Right. Guess what if we would have knew that guess what we would have did we would have separated ourselves from him Right. That's the wisdom that we should be having according to these scriptures man Right. But because our Christian pastors have taught us that we ain't got to keep no laws no more Guess what we die in the street man That's right We die in the street and not only do we die in the street, we kill each other. You know why? Because we look at ourselves with the same lens that our oppressor looks at us with, man. Right. And this is why we gotta come back to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Let's get some more. And 
and your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is the understanding that we'll have in the sight of these other nations, man. That's right. Like, we think that voting is going to, is going to make these other nations respect us, right? Joe Biden, Joe Biden came out and said, if you don't vote for, vote for me, you're not black. So that's what black people did. We went out and we voted for Joe Biden, right? Right. And the first thing he did was pass a bill for transgenders. Right. The second thing he did was pass a law for uh, for Asians. Right. The Asians who never voted for him. Right. Who don't vote at all. Right. You understand? When we come back to keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, we'll understand for the first time, man, that this is our wisdom, that we're not to vote, man. Our wisdom are found in these laws, statutes, and commandments. Not in the voting booths. Right. You understand? Let me get some more on that. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Listen, when we start keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, guess what? It's naturally going to make a brother love another brother. You understand? It's going to make a sister love another sister. And we're going to stop hurting each other. You know what these other nations going to stay? They're going to say, surely these are great. This, this is an understanding people right here, man. Right. These are some wise people. You know what? They're not trying to join us no more. Right. What's going on with the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans in this country, man? They're not trying to be one with us no more. But guess what? We see them flourishing again. Good brother. Hey, we can have a black Wall Street in every black city right now if we came back to keeping this, these laws, statutes, and commandments. And these other nations would know that we served our Lord, man. Because right. everybody on the earth knows that if you keep that the way you keep blacks, Latinos, and natives down is to keep us in poverty, is by keeping us sinful, man. And as we sin against the Lord, the Lord turns his anger towards us, man. But when we the wisdom of these scriptures tell us, man, to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, and the Lord will be an enemy to our enemies, man. You got some more on that? Go to verse 7, book, for sure. Verse 7, for what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them? Listen, this is what these other nations are going to say. What nation is so great that they got a God so close to them, man? That's what the word nigh means. Like our God will be close to us, man. What, what does that mean? That means that when we pray to our Father, man, when we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, we come right. back to our true heritage, we will be able to pray to the Most High, and guess what? We'll get answers swiftly, you understand? Right. That's right. Right now, we can't get those answers right now. You know why? Because we're not doing what our Father told us to do, man. Right. Right now, we're still being disobedient children by thinking right. that we can come together and be one with everybody under the sun. Right. That is a lie according to these scriptures, man. Right. Every black, Latino, and Native American, we ought to be above all nations on the face of this earth, man. That's the right. brother was just bringing it out. The brother just dropped it. How, how special of a people we are, man. Right. The Lord did not talk to everybody. Moses was not talking to everybody. Moses was talking to the nation of Israel, man. That's right. Just like in the Constitution, they say all men are created equal, right? Right. But when that, when that was written, we were slaves in this country, man. Right. We were picking cotton and getting our backs beat when they said all men are created equal. The same way we can understand that is the same way these churches are. When it talks about Israel, it's not talking about every nation. Right. We're not talking about a quote-unquote spiritual Israelite. Right. We're talking about Israelite according to the flesh. Every black, Latino, and Native American, man. These laws, statutes, and commandments for each and every one of us, man. Let me keep, uh, let's get some more on that scripture. As the Lord, our God, is in all things that we call upon him for. Listen, our God will be there and he'll, and for everything that we call upon him for right now, man. Right here in Richmond, right, right, in, right here in this city of Richmond, we see the poverty of our people, man. Right. Our people ain't got nowhere to lay their heads. We can't get, we, I mean, we in slavery, whether you got a so-called job or not. Right. You understand? We are in slavery, toiling. We don't own our homes. We don't own no businesses, man. We got to go to the so-called white man for every single thing, man. Right. Where's our farm at? Where's, where, where are our chickens and cows and hens, you understand? Right. Where's our wells at that we can drink our own water, man? Right. Like we don't have it, man. We are in, in pure, pure poverty. But guess what? We come back to keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. And the Lord is going to hear everything we ask for, man. That's right. And this is what we're trying to, this is what we're teaching our people, man. We're teaching our people that we are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Right. Don't right. nobody has ever told us this, man. Right. 
If you're black, Latino, or Native American, don't feel ashamed about who you are. Right. Understand that, listen, the most high. Come learn. Come learn who you are, man. Come to the table with your that, brothers, man. That's right. Come get a flyer. That's come come right. to class, that's man. Right. That's right. Like, this is what we got to do, man. Like, this is a family affair right here. We not our people's enemies, man. We have a bigger enemy out here that's killing us in the street day after day after day after day. Christianity. Right. You understand? Like we 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 are we in these churches, man, and Christianity is killing us day after day. Let's get some more in there. We in Deuteronomy uh, the fourth chapter, verse eight. Verse eight! And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments? So righteous as all this law which I set before you this day. Listen, and this, this is what the other nations are going to say about us, you understand? When we're in our power and we're ruling this earth and, and, and the kingdom of God, you understand? A black man's kingdom, guess what? These other nations, they'll say, what nation of these have laws, laws and statutes so righteous, man? Right. You understand? Because the laws, the, right now, every black, Latino, and Native American you know, you know why it's so hard for us to accept law? Because the so-called white man, his laws in this country are built to and made to oppress us, man. Right, right. So every time we hear that we gotta keep law, we think that it's something against us. Listen, when we come to this Bible, these laws, statutes, and commandments are meant to uplift every black, Latino, and Native American, man. Right. And that's what we gotta understand. These, these, these commandments are going to lift us up and it's going to put us above all the other nations, man. If I could drop that, let's get Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. We're going to get some more in the scripture. Like we've, never, like, we've never heard these scriptures because the Christian pastors never brought them out. You understand? All they want to teach is God is all love and pass the collection plate. Which is a lie, man. That is an absolute lie according to these scriptures, man. We're going to get in this Bible, man. We're going to say, we're going to see exactly what the Most High say has to say. Chapter 3 and verse 1. Publish up. Amen. We're gonna get some we're gonna get some more in the scriptures. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the that the Lord has spoken against you. The most high said, Hear this word that the most high has spoken against you. Who is he speaking to right now? Oh children of Israel! Oh children of Israel, listen, the most high is talking to every black, Latino, and Native American right now. He's gonna tell us something. Let's see what the most high has to say. Against the whole family which, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Against the entire family which I brought up of the, out of the uh, land of Egypt. We gotta understand this blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're not individuals, man. We are one family. So if we're going to get cursed, guess what? We're going to get cursed together, man. That's right. That's if we right. get blessed, we're going to get blessed together. Right. we got to stop being individuals in this God-forsaken nation, man. And let's hear what the Most High has to say. Say it! Verse 2, you only have I know of all the families of the earth. The Most High said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, man. That's Guess right. what? The Most High just told every black, Latino, and Native American, I know you. I know you of all the families of the of the 18 nations on the face of the earth. In the, like, not individually, but as a nation, you understand? The most high knows blacks and Latinos and Native Americans, man. Great. What does that mean? Let's get some more instruction. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The most high say, therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Do we ever wonder why the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans always get punished for everything that we do wrong, man? Right. Like right now, we sell drugs. You know why we sell drugs? Because we imitate the culture that we see around us, man. Right. Like right. Selling drugs is not the culture of a black man, man. Right. Smoking weed is not the culture of a black man. Right. You understand? Being a, a, being a child molester is not the culture of a black man. Right. But we imitate the oppressor that we right. see doing it, man. Right. Because he's the biggest drug dealer on the face of the earth. And because he sell dope, and because he sell coke, we think that we can do it and get rich like him, right? Right. Scarface, we look at oh. Scarface. We look at all the monsters, right? Al Capone. Al Capone, that's why we call ourselves uh, Little Gotti, Little Gotti, and Nitty. Godfather. The Godfather, you understand? They the Al Capone. 
they are the biggest gangsters and drug dealers on the face of the earth. That's right. But because we see them doing it, we think that we can do it. Right. What did the Lord say when we when we do it? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Hebrews and Shebrews, we are the ISUPK, this is the Lost Tribes. I am Dawa Da. Officer 500 here to tell you the truth according to the Bible, the black Jews are God's chosen people. My narration describes a young boy that was pushing aside and all he ever wanted was a little piece of the pie. But all he ever got was hate, hurt, being deprived because of a system not designed with his kind in mind. But in time he soon find why his friends are his foes, why his brothers in jail, why his sisters is hoes. While Papa never was around to teach him stuff he should know, the type of stuff to keep his kids from being gangsters and hoes. But see for Bob shit, it was no different. Raised without a father or a pot to go pissing. Not even a mother, he was raised by his brother. This was around the same time we was hung for being colored. Meanwhile, mama out here working no tea. It's the only way she knew her little boy was gonna eat. It was hard in the city, so she moved down south. A few years after that, her little boy moved out. Our narration describes the lives of the lost tribes in the ghetto trying to survive. Working nine to five to provide, swallowing their pride. Things we gotta do to stay alive.